Hi everyone, I'm Neil Snape and I'm going to show you how I do a typical conversion to black and white in Lightroom with a model image. Subscribe to my channel and I'll keep you up with the next uh, video tutorials. What you can do is you can reset your images directly in the grid view. Right click, develop settings, reset and it'll bring you back to zero. Uh, you can click here or if you want this one that's in focus, command shift D, and I will take you deselect all other images and let you take a look at this. If you want to go and develop it, press D and it'll take us there. This is the image as it sits in color. Black and white with everything else set the same. Just click V or press the black and white button and it will take you into a a black and white view and all of these are set to zero there is a reason for that that's because in your preferences and presets you have the choice to apply auto mix when first converting to black and white or to do it yourself I much prefer to do it myself I don't want Lightroom to do that for me that's why it worked that way I will take it back to to color or I could have clicked on the color button go up here and we'll take a very quick look at the presets that Lightroom includes and when you roll over the preset it will give you an indication of what's going to happen in the icon view which is not very big if you click on the preset then you can always go back in history or reset it it's not permanent that's the beauty of Lightroom it doesn't destroy images it's uh, non-destructive it's only a bunch of numbers set on top of an image that's existing. When you export it and edit the image in Photoshop, it's not on the original. Let's uh, take a look for one that, that looks good. Uh, you put all of your presets in your own folders. I could have um, put them into a black and white color. I've already started a video presets folder. I roll up and down until I find one that uh, looks good to me flowers and I think that one looks good and I'll click on and see what happens it looks good I can see some problems it's a little bit blocked up in the blacks in here um, it's kind of blotchy in the skin and that can be due to her skin tone the light color many reasons it's just a preset it was for another picture I kind of like what it's doing contrast wise here some things like the teeth are too white and since the teeth are white it would tell me that there's probably I've pushed the uh, the yellows up a bit you can see in the blacks when you're rolling over here they're down to clipping values and that's also indicated with the clipping indicators which you can toggle on or off by pressing J now what I can see here is I'm I push this over into the yellows which is what's making this area and the teeth go white if you look up here there's a very small indicator that's saying there's a little almost like a Sigma sign and it's actually showing you that you used a different process version which is 2010 which is from an older version of Lightroom and it shows you which one if you click on it it'll bring up this dialog box which shows you a side by side if it's checked and you only want to update the current image that you're working on and you can see that overall it's done its best to save the the look of the image but it's applied a, a lot better current technologies that the um, Adobe people have incorporated into making smoother transitions um, better shadow and highlight detail and a lot of other things that I want to explain here um, but you can see that by doing so and it's often the case it's lighter and it doesn't have the quite the same feel as the other images although it's tried to save the best it can uh, temperature tint etc it's still uh, not quite the same thing so what I'd want to do is to try to make this look uh, darker because it's lighter here in these values and also uh, take down those levels so I might do that by taking down the blacks which will bring it closer into clipping and you can see it's just on the edge I even take it I will even take it down into clipping go to your 
uh, tone curves and I can see that I need to take down and the light values that's looking pretty good maybe even in the highlights just a little bit too now everything looks good let's go off into the black and white section and see what if I take down the yellows what it might do because I think that's where the blotchy skin and the teeth the problems are coming from and yes that's an, that's definitely where it is so even though we've we've changed the overall version the the look of this one we're a lot closer to a good image press Y to take you back to single pane um, preview and let's go and fix a, a couple of things so if we wanted to look a little bit more um, pushed up mid-tone contrast we take up the clarity slightly and it's starting to look very lively and it's nice and I can see that it's still a little bit blotchy on this area and this area but the, the rest is looking good so let's let's fix that by changing this to press the K or the the, the, the brush tool and let's actually change the color temperature from the base before it's converted to black and white and let's just paint over this area and see what happens and yes indeed by changing that to more blue we're actually are taking out the blotchiness you might want to go back a little bit and maybe we'll take the contrast of that down a little bit wonderful now let's fix as well in the hair so we're going to go to exposure or shadow or both but this time let's turn on auto mask and so what it's going to do is going to select the areas underneath the mouse underneath the cursor and not the areas that are outside of that range of tone perfect I often forget to turn that off but this time I didn't so let's go to new and let's just burn a little bit to make a little bit more volume around here so we're going to take the exposure down so slightly and maybe maybe increase the contrast a little bit so this is going to be I'm going to find out if this is going to be too fast when I say too fast it just means that I have um, the flow turned up too high or the values are, are so steep that it changes um, a little bit too quickly and it's looking good here's in the case on the sides where you might click on auto mask if you've missed a bit you can press O and that will give you it show you where and you can see that it's going off into the background a little bit so if you press your um, alt you can actually erase on that mask so it's not affecting other areas outside that's all there is to that press O again to toggle this is the same as if you click here and everything is looking good I will just add another new pin and I'm going to go back to exposure and I'm going to go up tiniest bit highlights just a little bit and then I'm going to do as I almost always do on my images just to make a little bit more shape and you know, I always think that's a good idea just a tiniest bit uh, it's a little bit harsh I just pressed um, alt actually take that one out and what I'll do is I'll make a new one but with a little bit less adjustment so a new pin because that way you can do these separately and that's about it I might just do command equals I might just make that eye because one's bright the other one's a little bit darker and that's got to do with when I made the pictures I use cards and and things to um, to adjust the light actually in real time I, I try to do that as much as possible in camera so I'm just making that a little bit brighter so it's, it still looks natural turn down the contrast just a little bit sometimes that helps in the eyes and I think that all looks good to me now 
if that's a preset, you, you know that we have that in the um, current process version. All these settings throughout here, tone curves, black and white, whatever it might be, if you press Command Shift N, and you can save this as a preset, you can check exactly the controls that you want to include in that preset. And I already had one called that. You can click on another image, LR5, black and white tutorial. And si simple as that, you can apply it to multiple or many images as you need to. Um, so that's it. Subscribe to my channel. I'll keep these things coming. Have fun. Keep playing in Lightroom. Bye.